Welcome, Anuraj Fasteners Private Limited. Today we are going to share details about design and manufacturing processes of threaded fasteners, nature of business, manufacture and supply of stainless steel, high tensile, super alloys, threaded fasteners, fitting and flanges for all industries. Our quality policy, our purpose, to make and supply quality fasteners and related products for various industries. Our vision to be preeminent manufacturer of nickel-based non-magnetic fasteners by 2020. Our mission, fulfill customer requirement and industrial standard that satisfies customer's need. Timely flawless delivery, meeting statutory, legal and other requirements. Training and developed continually that improves the performance of employees. Continually improve the organization through various management systems. Being a responsible corporate citizen. Different types of threaded fasteners. Hex bolts, hex screws, hex nuts, foundation bolts, studs, U-bolts, J-bolts, coach screw. Hex bolts can be differentiated in two parts, half-thread bolts and full-thread bolts. Half-threads bolts have thread length from two to three times the diameter. Full-thread bolts are also known as hex screws and are normally used to fit in assembly where no nuts are required and tapping of that size is done on joint part. These are regular types of hexagonal nuts, hex nut, heavy hex nuts, nylon insert nuts, jam nuts or lock nuts. We manufacture sizes above 25 mm. Now, let me explain, what is hex bolts? Hex bolts have a hexagonal head forged on one end, or threaded on the other end. Hex bolts are cut to length, headed, threaded, chamfered, heat treated or solution annealed and mechanically tested. Other manufacturing processes, cold heading process, and used for mass production. Hot forging process is used mainly for non-standard size that are typically larger in diameter or longer in length above 250 mm. How bolts are manufactured? Nuts and bolts are manufactured by hot forging process and cold forging process. Here in drawing we can see process of bolt manufacturing. Left side is hot forging by upsetting on press after heating rod at particular temperature and right side is typical 4 to 5 station. Bolt former cold forging process. Threads are done either two roll dies or flat dies for high rate of production. In this slide hot forging process given in details. First. Cutting. Steel round bar is either sheared or saw cut to length. Since headed bolts are measured from the underside of the head, to the end of the threads, extra steel that will be compressed, forged, to form the head is added to the cut length. Second, hex heads are formed by heating one end of the round bar and forging it with an upsetter, or hydraulic press. The grade symbol and manufacturer's identifier are added to the top of the head during this operation. Third, threads, can be either cut or rolled. Cut threading is a process in which steel is physically cut away from the round bar to form the threads. Roll threading is a process in which steel is displaced by forcing it between cylindrical threading dies. Heat treatment process. Solution annealing, a heat treating process performed on 300 series stainless steels in which non-ferrous materials are heated to specified temperatures, held for specified time, and cooled rapidly to ambient temperature. This process improves machinability and corrosion resistance. Quenching and tempering, this is a two-step heat treating process in which bolts are heated to very high temperatures, rapidly cooled, and heated again at lower temperatures to provide ductility and bring the mechanical properties in line with the given ASTM specification. Grades B7, B7M, B16, B5, and B6 are quenched and tempered.
Here, we will discuss about cold forge process. Cold headed bolts are produced in a similar fashion to hot forged bolts, without heating. Cold headed bolts are mass produced by machinery. Huge coils of steel wire are fed into a straightener before being sheared to length. Next, they are fed through a series of dies that gradually form the hex head. The area of the headed blanks to be threaded is extruded down to a pitch diameter before being roll threaded. The bolts are then solution annealed or quenched and tempered before being mechanically tested. So, main difference in cold and hot forging are as per table. In cold forging, mass production per day per machine. In hot forging, less production per day per machine. In cold forging, capital cost is high. In hot forging, capital cost is low. In cold forging, precise parts can be made directly. In hot forging, high machining cost after forging for precise products. In cold forging, size range, 1 to 27 mm diameter. In hot forging size range, 6 mm to 150 mm diameter. In cold forging, length up to 250 mm. In hot forging, length up to 1000 mm. In cold forging, production cost is low. In hot forging, production cost is high. In cold forging, an SS material strength can be obtained. In hot forging, an SS after forging strength decreased. Washers are non-threaded and are main part to spread load on assembly. Regular R. Plain washers. Plain washer is also called flat washers. Plain washers are the most common type of washers. They distribute pressure and protect the object to which the screw or nut is fastened. If a hole is too big for the fastener, a plain washer can be used to correct the size difference. Spring washer. Spring washers also called split lock washers provide a vibration resistant function. They consist of ring split at one point and bent into a helical shape. This causes the washer for creating more friction and resistance to rotation. Other types of regular washers are flat washers, fender washers, finishing washers, split lock washers, external and internal tooth lock washers, square washers, dock type washers, and OG washers. Now we will look details of materials used to manufacturing fasteners. Two main, are ferrous materials with iron, and another is non-ferrous materials without iron, they both have their typical properties to select as per application, please see table for the same. Typical ferrous materials, mild steel. Alloy steels, grades, and specifications are as per table. Stud bolt standards in IS and ASTM. Nuts have different grade and specification, indicates grades of materials used in their properties as per IS and also ASTM standards. Austenitic stainless steel grades where carbon percentage is below or equal to 0.8. These materials are non-ferromagnetic materials, mainly ASTM A193 is used, here we have chemical composition of SS grades, with nickel percentage up to 20%, for anti-corrosion applications. L indicates carbon below 0.3 percentage grades of materials we use to manufacture bolt studs are SS304, SS316, SS310, SS317, LSS347 and SMO254 grade fasteners. Anuraj fasteners manufacture fasteners as per ASTM standards with solution annealing. We are regularly executing orders as per customer specification successfully, with third-party inspection. What is duplex steel materials? Duplex steel materials are used when corrosion resistance required with high strength, it has high chrome percentage, nickel is less, grade 2205, also knows as UNS31803 is duplex materials, super duplex materials have nickel 7% and added alloy for high PREN, that is pitting resistance equivalent number, it's high compared to typical stainless steel materials, UNS32750 and UNS32760 are super Super duplex materials, Anuraj fasteners manufactures duplex materials bolts and nuts for various chemical plants and equipment manufacturer in India. What is nickel-based alloys, which are grades materials are known as nickel grades alloys. Nickel-based alloys are highly heat resistant and high strength at high temperature, here nickel percentage is more than 25%. Hastaloy grade C276, Hastaloy grade C22 are from Hastaloy group having vanadium and copper. 
Monial K500 and Monial 400 having high copper with approximate 63% nickel, alloy 20 has tantalum is added alloy with 32-38% to nickel, another group of nickel alloy is Inconel, please for more details visit our website www.anuraj.com. Anuraj Fasteners has successful executed orders under 3.1 and 3.2 third-party inspection in high nickel grade materials. We are one of the top manufacturer of ASTM A453 grade 660 studs nuts in India with stress rupture test, are made from Inconel 286 materials, with heat treatment. Anuraj Fasteners, manufactures stainless steel grade 304 materials studs, bolts and nuts, with annealing which are having mechanical properties as per ASTM A193 grade B8 for studs and bolts, ASTM A194 grade 8 for nuts. ASTM A193 grade B8 class 1 bolts and threaded studs are manufactured from AISI 304 stainless steel. Solution annealing, is a process in which fasteners or stainless bars are heated and then water quenched to assure maximum corrosion resistance. A193 grade B8 class 2 bolts are strain hardened after carbide solution treatment to achieve increased strength characteristics and reduce the potential for galling. Anuraj Fasteners, manufactures stainless steel grade 316 materials studs, bolts and nuts, with annealing which are having mechanical properties as per ASTM A193 grade B8M for studs and bolts, ASTM A194 grade 8M for nuts. ASTM A193 grade B8M class 1 fasteners are manufactured from AISI 316 stainless steel. Type 316 stainless steel offers superior corrosion resistance. Grade B8M Class 1 fasteners require carbide solution treatment. Class 2 fasteners require an additional strain hardening operation which increases the strength and reduces the susceptibility to galling. Anuraj Fasteners, manufactures alloy steel grade AISI 4140 materials studs and bolts with hardening and tempering process, which are having mechanical properties, as per ASTM A193 Grade B7. ASTM A193 grade B7 bolts and threaded studs are manufactured from a chromium molybdenum steel and are quenched and tempered, heat treated, to develop the desired mechanical properties, strength. Stud, bolts are available plain, zinc plated, xylan coated, PTFE coated, cadmium coated and hot dip galvanized coated for corrosion resistance. Anuraj Fasteners, manufactures alloy steel grade AISI 4140 materials studs and bolts with hardening and tempering process, which are having mechanical properties, as per ASTM A193 grade B7M. ASTM A193 grade B7M bolts and studs are quenched and tempered medium carbon alloy steel. It has lower strength requirements and require 100% hardness testing of all fasteners manufactured in the lot. Anuraj fasteners have in-house hardness testing facility. Grade B7M bolts resist chloride, sulfide, and hydrogen stress corrosion cracking, SCC. Stud, bolts are available plain, zinc plated, xylan coated, PTFE coated, cadmium coated and hot dip galvanized coated for corrosion resistance. Quality plan for studs, bolts and nuts manufacture in Anuraj Fasteners Private Limited as designed as per EN 10204 3.1 and 3.2 standard and specification. All incoming raw materials and ready fasteners are checked for visual cracks, dimensions, and chemical mechanical properties, after 100% positive confirmation in process dimensions are checked, after completion of all processes, acceptance sampling is done as per random samples selected per each lot as per specification.